Well, good morning. It is 10 to 10 on Friday, August 20th, and I am here at Benchu Lake Access in the Halliburton Highland Water Trails. A um, bit of a story to this camping weekend, but I'll explain some more later. Um, I am just at the Access. I'm heading to the campsite on Upper Crane, um, which I booked yesterday. Uh, someone was camping there last night, so I don't know if they're still here, and the campsite technically isn't mine till noon, um, which is why I'm so late today, and uh, I'm just kind of taking my time. Um, I'm assuming I'm going to get there around 11-ish, and hopefully the people will be gone by then, but if not, it's only an hour, so I can just kind of paddle around, maybe do some fishing and wait. Okay, so I just grabbed all my stuff out of the car and kind of brought it down here. I didn't set up the canoe to portage, so... I had to bring the yoke separately, the paddle separately. I don't even have the seat in yet. So I'm gonna do all that and then uh, get going. Yeah, there's people right here. Um, I'm assuming they're day tripping because it is a day site um, and you're not allowed to camp there. So um, I'm guessing they just got here really early this morning to spend the day. It's supposed to be 37 today with the Humidex. So um, that's a huge reason why I wanted to be near water as well. And yes, I brought the 12-foot pack boat with me today, so so I want to paddle it a bit more and uh, check it out, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, it is 10 o'clock, and I'm just making my way through Bench Shoe. Um, I see a pair of loons up ahead, and uh, lots of people here today. Um, so I'm just making my way to the portage. Um, I'm trying to take my time, but I'm not really very good at that. <laughs> good morning, loonies. Um, it's 10 after 10 and I'm at the portage, um, heading into Crane Lake. Uh, the portage takes you into Lower Crane, um, but the water between Upper and Lower Crane is generally open and I would assume 100% now because uh, the water's really high this year. So I'm just going to make my way slowly over the portage and try to take my time. Well, it's 20 after 10. And as I was rigging up the boat, I realized I left my fishing rod in the car. Um, yes, I could paddle back 10, 15 minutes, walk across the street to my car, get it and come back. But I really don't care that much. Um, I do have my tackle, um, but no rod. So, oh well. Um, I'm going to uh, get the canoe over the portage. Got my backpack up there with my little cooler bag. Uh, yes, I brought some luxuries, uh, including a pie iron, uh, which I'll talk about later. Uh, but for now, I'm going to uh, make my way over this portage. It is so hot out already. I'm so glad that I'm going to be hanging out beside and in the water today. the portage into Crane Lake from Bench Shoe uh, is fairly simple. There's a little bit of some uphill at the beginning. Um, it's only a 200 meter, so nothing uh, to be super concerned about. All right, it's 1030. Uh, I've got the canoe over at the other side. No problem at all. Um, the portage is very buggy and it's really hot and I'm sweating, like just dripping with sweat and the mosquitoes are all over me. Um, I did not bring the bug shelter. Um, I didn't have any issues really, practically any issues with bugs in Tamagami a few weeks ago. Um, so I'm pretty sure I'm good, but uh, I knew the portage might have some issues. So I'm just gonna run back and grab my backpack and uh, get back on the water. All right, I am just finishing up the portage between Benchu and Crane Lake. And uh, just have to pack a couple of assorted items. <laughs> um, so now I have to paddle really slow. It's so hard with this stuff. Like, first of all, I'm not used to going camping places where people are already camped. Um, 
I did try to find a site that didn't have anyone on it last night, so I could come early this morning, but that was just way, way out of uh, the range of what was gonna happen. Um, finding this site for two nights yesterday alone uh, was pretty miraculous, so um, I took it anyways, and uh, I mean, those people could be long gone, or they could stay there till 12, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to go and see what the situation is. All right, it is quarter to 11. I'm doing my best to take my time. <laughs> um, although, like I said, I don't know if somebody's even there still or if they already left. So the waterway in between Lower Crane and Upper Crane is pretty much just like this. There's um, just a very small area, uh, maybe 50 meters or 100 meters. Um, that's kind of like this. It's all lily pads and stuff. And then it opens up to the top part of the lake and all is well. Well, it's 11 o'clock and I've just arrived uh, at the campsite. There is a canoe there. Um, so I'm going to have to wait maybe an hour to get onto the site. So I'm just going to paddle around the lake, I guess, and do some exploring and uh, do the wait thing. I'm just sitting here hanging out with the lily pads. Um, just over here in a shaded part of the lake. Uh, it's really hot out. Um, I'm out on the water. I've just been kind of sitting in the canoe with my hands back here in the water um, while I was paddling. There's two bays on either side of the top of uh, Upper Crane Lake and uh, I went to the left. I stuck to the left shore and came all the way around and now I'm in this little nook. Uh, on the right side of the left bay. Um, so there's a little bit of shade here. There's a bunch of lily pads. There's frogs jumping around and stuff um, and lilies. And I can't hear anything that's happening over at the campsite. I don't want to sit out there and be like, okay, I'm waiting, like hurry up. It's a big family, you know, this could be their only vacation of the summer. I don't want to put any type of a bad, you know, twist on it or anything, so. Well, it's almost 12 o'clock. Um, I've got the canoe a little bit in the shade now. Um, I'm a little closer up. I can't see the campsite, but I can see the opening um, of the lake that they have to go through uh, to leave. So I just thought I'd wait here. They don't know I'm here, I don't think. I don't think they've seen me, so. I'm just hanging out and waiting here. Uh, I figured while I was waiting, I might as well have my lunch. You know, um, it's almost 12, so that way I'll be, I'll be fed. Otherwise, when I get to camp, I'll start setting up. And next thing you know, it'll be 2.30. Um, so I brought two turkey wraps. Uh, I put these in the little cooler bag that I brought um, with a piece of ice, a big chunk of ice in it. Uh, it's turkey with mayo, Dijon mustard, uh, sliced cheddar cheese, um, old cheddar cheese, and uh, then I brought a couple of pickles. Anyway, um, I'm going to slice up my pickles. Uh, I do have my knife in my pocket that I always carry on me, so I'm just going to use that and uh, sit here and eat my lunch and hang out watching the frogs. <laughs> I think maybe my incognito plan had the reverse effect. Um, they didn't think anybody was coming, I don't think, and they're all out going for a swim. It's 20 after 12. Um, I'm openly sitting here way across from the campsite. Um, so they know I'm here and I'm waiting and um, yeah. Well, it's 12.35 and I'm still in the canoe. Um, my campsite uh, mates from the previous night are just starting to leave the campsite. Um, I can see them up ahead starting to paddle up the lake. Something is jumping in the water. It's saying, dummy, forgot your fishing rod. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna wait until they kind of get out of view. I don't just wanna be like, <laughs> I don't know, it just feels strange to someone else's sight now. I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> I've never had this happen, like I said, so. And I do like to go to sites early, so. Anyways, you know what? It's the first time this trick has ever backfired on me, so. And I wouldn't even say backfired, I mean. I spent some time with the frogs, I had my lunch already, so I'm good to go. I'm just gonna uh, wait a bit and uh, head over to the campsite. Hopefully they left me some wood and hopefully they didn't leave any garbage. 
All right, I'm here. Yay! All right, the eagle has landed. <laughs> I'm here, finally. Let's see what's been happening. Uh, the last time I was here, I believe, it was my Thanksgiving trip last year. Um, I had plans for three different destinations and <laughs> none of them worked out. There was really bad weather forecast, high winds, and uh, so I came here and I made a Thanksgiving uh, turkey dinner on the campfire here. Uh, it looks a lot different. Things have been moved around for sure, um, but that's okay. Uh, as long as there's some trees for my tarping. I knew there were some, but they were far away, so hopefully I can rig something up so I can uh, make my pies on the fire tomorrow in the thunderstorm. Anyway, <laughs> I just walked up here stupidly with nothing in my hands. Um, so I'm gonna go grab my stuff out of the boat and uh, come up here and start getting set up. Well, it's 20 after one and I've completely made myself at home. Uh, I got my saw out sitting there waiting to cut some wood up. Um, my kitchen bag is hanging on the one tree, my PFD is on the other, and the uh, little cooler bag, um, which will remain with me until the end of the day, uh, when any remaining food will end up in the bear vault, uh, is hanging from the tree there. I've got my tent set up uh, right there, at this exact same spot I put it last time, and the reason is it's the flattest spot on the whole campsite. Um, it looks like there's all these nice spots, but they're all on a slant. Uh, there's a little spot there that's not too bad, so that's where I put it. Um, that's about it. Uh, I've just got my hammock here. Uh, I think I'm going to set it up down there. Um, another good spot is right here. So I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to go with. I'm just trying to decide. It is so, so hot. I know I need to like get some firewood together for dinner and stuff like that, but um, I think I'm going to end up on the water in the water first. <laughs> I've got the hammock set up in a great spot. Um, I got lots of tree cover uh, for some shade because it's so hot. There's a nice breeze blowing off the lake. Uh, canoes right down there. And uh, this is my view. Looks a little obstructed in the video with the trees, but assure you it looks more open in person and uh, oh, that breeze is wonderful this is gonna be a great spot for me to hang out and read and nap <laughs> and enjoy the day oh, I was lying in my hammock and uh, I don't know why I kept hearing the sound over here so I looked over and I'm pretty sure there's like a huge frog. Yep. <laughs> Sitting near the front of my canoe. Well, I guess the back of my canoe. Um, yeah, so I wanted to come and check him out. He's pretty big, but the sound I'm hearing is actually coming from around the corner. Um, so I'll have to see what that is. Hello, frog. He's just hanging out there. Well, for a few years now, there's something that I've been wanting to try to do, and I uh, haven't gotten up the nerve to do it. Um, it's not like super risky or anything, but um, I want to take my Thermarest out onto the water and use it as like a floaty. <laughs> um, I don't see why it wouldn't work, but I've never seen anyone else do it. I've Googled it. Um, I've never found anything. So I don't know if anyone's ever tried it. Uh, I don't know if it's like, I don't know, I guess got enough air in it to hold me up or if I would just sink. Um, and I wanted to make sure that whenever I did try it, it was on a day where it was really hot and I could make sure that it would dry uh, well in time before bed so I wouldn't have to worry about any issues with like, I don't know, getting my sleeping bag wet or whatever. So. I think today is the day. Oh, <laughs> oh it's so warm. 
warm. Wow. Lovely. <sighs> I hope this works. Wish me luck. I'm still afraid to get it wet. get on it backwards or frontwards. This is fine. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is good. need me, this is where I'll be. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, I'm gonna try to flip over. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fall off. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little wobbly when you're moving around. <laughs> From the from the land. It was fun trying. All right, this is my last try. Oh, I got it! I got it! I got it! Okay. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Oh, no. Slow, slow, slow. Woo. Yes. <laughs> woo. That's awesome. I gotta be really careful. One wrong move and I'm going in. Not that it matters. It's super hot out. This is awesome. Oh yes, so much fun. Oh. That was a complete success. Um, I was out on the water probably for about an hour. I was laying on my back, on my front. I turned the mattress sideways and I was just kind of like laying over in the middle. Um, it was awesome, 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 awesome. Um, I've got it out uh, drying in the sun over here now. I'm going to see how long it takes to dry. Um, it was so comfy cozy there for a minute. I almost fell asleep. I had my hands, uh, my fingers dangling over the end of the thermarest and a little fish nipped it. And I saw them. I looked down in the water. There was a bunch of them about this big. So um, kind of extra kicking myself now that uh, I forgot my fishing rod in the car. but. Oh well, whatever. I got lots to do. I'm sure I'll be fine. Um, so I'm going to um, start getting up, going up to the campsite. Um, I found a bunch of wood. I've been gathering stuff since I got here. Um, I'm cooking on the fire tonight. I'm having a steak and uh, I brought some rice. Um, it's one of the um, 
I think it's Uncle Ben's or one of those orange packages. Um, I really like them. It's country style chicken or something, chicken flavored rice. Um, so I made it last night and I just have to heat it up in a uh, Ziploc freezer bag, which is a new thing for me. So uh, I'm going to get up to camp and uh, start processing some wood so I get the fire started um, so I can cook my steak in a little bit. Such a great day so far. I am loving it. The heat, the sunshine, playing in the water, floating around on the thermorest. Like, awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm so glad I finally tried that. Now I know it works. I am so going to do it again. Well, it's only been about five minutes, and uh, my thermorest is just sitting here in the sun on top of these logs, and it is almost dry. Um, I can feel it a little tiny bit damp in a few spots, but um, overall, it's almost already dry. Oh, it's hot. Um, I was sawing wood and I was just dripping sweat. My hair was everywhere, so I had to get rid of it. Um, I just sawed a whole bunch of wood that I found. I've got a nice little stash over here now. Um, all set up to go. Um, I'm probably not going to continue to have a fire like throughout the night. Maybe just a little. Just, sometimes I'll like just light a couple of pieces of wood just to take some pictures and then I put it out um, just for some ambiance. But other than that, it's too hot for a fire. Um, I have a steak though. Steaks need to be cooked on the fire, in my opinion. So I'm going to cook my steak and uh, then I'll probably just let it die out. So while I'm waiting for my fire, to catch and get hot enough for me to cook on it. I am doing something I rarely do on a trip. I'm enjoying a cocktail. Um, it's just worked out that way that either it hasn't fit or um, wasn't able to drink. Um, it's before seven, I'm intermittent fasting so I eat between noon and seven. Um, I don't care if I have a drink till eight or nine tonight or whatever, I'm out camping. Um, so it's not a big deal, but I just haven't really cared enough to do it. Um, but today I have some berry pomegranate. Uh, this is President's Choice. I just get these uh, water flavoring drops. And uh, in the, <laughs> in the uh, probiotics container, I have uh, about two and a half or two, I guess. Um, ounces, so just a little over two shots of coconut rum. Um, so, cheers. I want to down the whole thing just because it's cold and it's been so hot today. Oh my gosh, it's like so nice. All right, back to hot fire duty. All right, it is 20 after six and things are going good here at uh, the old campsite. Um, got a nice fire under the steak. It is just about ready. And uh, I just put the rice in the hot water. Um, and that shouldn't take too long to warm up. It's, it was probably warm enough to eat just being, uh, going by the temperature outside. Uh, still super hot out and uh, absolutely gorgeous and I'm looking forward to eating my dinner. That looks good. I cannot wait to eat. I am so hungry. Mmm. Got that nice smoky fire taste. I'm gonna go eat. I'll see you in a bit. Beautiful night here. Ridiculously hot, um, about to put the fire out. Uh, dinner was delicious. Uh, I decided to have a second cocktail because I still had a wee bit of ice left and now it is gone. Um, I've packed everything out of the uh, cooler into the bear vault and um, just sitting here uh, enjoying this beautiful view. There's a loon on the lake and it keeps doing the um, the whale call, and it's just so awesome. <laughs> He's a sneaky loon. Comes flying into the lake, must have landed from like the air. 
flaps across the water, stops, and then does the whale call. I grab my phone, I come running down here because I can't see the, um, the water very well from my campsite. <laughs> so I came running down here and then not a peep, but never mind. <laughs> More, please. Well, it's about quarter to eight, and uh, I'm just down by the waterfront. Um, the sun is going down, and uh, I've just been taking some pictures of the boat, um, and the hammock, and the sunset, and some frogs, and just random stuff. Like there's a frog sitting like right here. Big huge one. There's lots of frogs here at this campsite. They're everywhere. Every time I go to move the boat, I have to kind of walk around and go, okay frogs, like get out of the way. <laughs> oh, beautiful night, still hotter than Hades. I'm still sweating like crazy. Um, I had those little biting flies attacking my legs. Um, so I had to get up and kind of come down here even though there's no wind. Um, the little biting flies aren't here, thankfully. Oh, I got a little ambiance here. I got my little tea light uh, sitting on the fire pit, my little uh, flame. And uh, I'm just sitting here listening to an audio book, enjoying uh, balloons calling and the calmness of the night. Uh, it's starting to get a little cooler out, which is nice. And uh, the little flies have stopped biting for now. Um, I have a feeling they might be back though because the sun just went down, so we'll see. Well, it's about quarter after nine and uh, the bugs are really starting to drive me crazy. Um, so I'm gonna go in my tent and read my book in there. Um, it's pretty quiet out here, just a couple of loons every now and then. And uh, that's about it, so. Nice and peaceful, just the way I like it. Well, good morning from Upper Crane Lake. It is quarter after seven, and uh, I had a little bit of a sleep in. I had a, a really rough sleep last night. Um, uh, the uh, sleeping mat is a little bit uh, crooked, um, so I had some trouble with that, and it was just so hot. Um, I woke up around three in the morning, and uh, I opened up the fly and uh, that helped cool things down a little bit. And then I finally got to sleep around five and uh, got a few good hours in. So um, there's no sunrise here uh, on this campsite. Um, I was aware of that when I booked it, but I also booked it uh, the day before I came here. So can't really complain about that. And I had a beautiful uh, sunset. So even though my tent and my sleeping spot is pretty much on the flattest spot um, on the campsite, it's still um, down like this a little bit. And I was finding that I was like sliding kind of almost off my thermal rest. It's not a bad slope and it doesn't have to be uh, to affect it. So what I did was I took some things that I have rolled up uh, in long strips kind of a thing, uh, like my raincoat and uh, my rain pants and I just put them under the one edge, the low edge of the mat and that helps to level me out and make me a little bit more comfortable. Um, it worked pretty good but uh, I didn't do it until about three o'clock in the morning so that wasn't so good. <laughs> oh, it's about nine o'clock and I am just in the uh, pack boat i um, just going to go looking for some firewood. Uh, I'm going to go to the portage. Uh, usually there's lots of stragglers there. Just going to kind of paddle around the lake, look for frogs, herons, maybe a deer if I'm really lucky. Um, just do some exploring, enjoy the morning. It's beautiful out, beautiful blue skies. The sun is out and up and uh, it's already pretty warm. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.